So you need weights, you need a band, you need a chair. Okay, so everybody should be warmed up by now. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the upper body. So I want you guys to please grab your weights. Okay, grab your weights. Palms are us. Nice, stable base of support. You're gonna come halfway up, go back down. Halfway up only, back down. Okay, so we're just doing... Good, you guys look good. You've all got your cameras in great positions. You look like separate humans today instead of one giant person. I told somebody that and they were like, you should have taken a picture. <laughs> Okay, so just the lower body, lower half, sorry. Shoulders stay back and down, tummies are strong. Come halfway up and go back down. Just to let you know what's coming next, we have tricep dips. Up and down. Now palms come in, same thing. Halfway up and back down. Okay, so palms have now come in, up and down. Good, up and down. We've got five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, face them back forwards. Now we're gonna come all the way up and all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. Okay, so we did the lower half, then we did the upper half, and now we're doing the full movement. Up and down. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, and last one. Same movement, just to switch it up a little bit. Come up, now turn it in and come down. Okay, so come up with the curl, turn it in, back down, good. So up curl, hammer down, okay? So a hammer curl just means the, that the palms are turned in. Good, up, hammer down. Now, so I have said, up next is tricep dips. If your wrist gets sore, take your weights with you, take a seat, and you're gonna do an overhead tricep extension, okay? Five, four, three, Two, good, and last one. Good, tricep dips over to your chair or bench. Now, if you can't do that because of the wrists, you're gonna bring them here, okay? Your weights go up overhead and you do an overhead extension. Otherwise, hands go down. Drop them behind, but stay very close to your chair or bench. Down and up, down and up. And those elbows are shooting straight out behind you. Good, you're not walking super far away from your bench. Stay nice and close. Down and up. Eyes stay forward. Tummy is still strong. Feet are flat on the floor. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, up you come, grab your band. Okay, your band's gonna come up overhead. I want you to get into a wide stance and go just a little bit lower, a little bit of a plie here. Band is up overhead. You bring it down in front, squeeze between the shoulder blades, back up. Down and up. Down and up. So from behind, really just squeezing in between those shoulder blades right here as you come down. That's what I want to see. Squeeze, good, perfect. Squeeze and back up. Hold that plie and up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. I hope you guys are feeling these because these are killing me. <laughs> so tummies are strong. Tailbone is tucked under. Good. If holding the plie is too much, you can come right up out of it. We've got five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, all the way down. Arms up, 
Okay, my palms are up, so I've got no equipment. Okay, you're gonna circle forwards and circle back. Circle forwards and circle back. It's like you're drawing a circle on the wall with your hands, okay? It's really not a big movement, but you're gonna feel it real darn quick. Circle, circle. Okay, so keep those shoulder blades together. Good. Shoulders back and down, right? Nice wide chest. So even as I come forward, I'm not rounding those shoulders forward with me. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Woo! Now, just to keep those legs warm, this is where we're gonna have a little break. I just want you to run on the spot. Okay, so it's just a really tiny, we're gonna do 20 seconds, just keeping that whole body warm, okay, keeping those legs moving. We're gonna do these a couple more times as we do the upper body workout. Good. Give me about five more seconds. Two, one, good. Grab a drink and then grab those weights back. Oh, my arms are already feeling it. All right, biceps. So this time you're gonna go out to the side. Up and down. Up, down. Good. So we've just rotated the arms out to the side a little bit. Perfect. Tummies are strong. Shoulders stay back and down, we're not rounded. Perfect, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, one more move. So you're gonna come up a little bit higher. One, then the other. One, then the other. Good. So we're just doing an alternating monkey bicep curl. We're a bunch of monkeys here. Good, working those biceps. Keep pushing. Four, three, two more sets, and last one. Good, nice job. One weight goes down. Other weight you're gonna hold on to. Overhead press, back down. Overhead press, back down. So all on one side. Good. Up, back down. Good, keep those shoulders rolled back. Perfect, nice job. Up. Back down, keep that tummy strong. Five, four, grabbing our bands next. Three, two, last one, nice job. Weight goes down, grab those bands. This time it comes behind you, underneath your arms. Watch your hair, guys. Watch your hair, it does hurt if it grabs your hair. Keep your hair in front if you can. Let's go back into that plie position. Chest press, bring it back. Good. Whew. Chest press, so palms are down. So I'll just show you guys a little bit closer. Okay, so you don't have to tilt forward, I'm just trying to show you guys my arms, okay? I'm upright. Good, let's get a little bit lower in that plie. Good. Six. Oh, it's got my hair. But I was just trying to show you an example. Four, three, two, and last one. Okay, little jog. Little jog here. So this is where if you're full of beans and full of energy, you can go right to a high knee. If you're really just looking for the upper body, just kind of march it out for a second. This is where you can walk around for a sec, grab a drink. I'm gonna do so. Good. 
Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left here, then we're gonna grab those bands back. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice job. Grab those bands back. So for this one, you're gonna step on it with one foot, tip forward. You lock in those arms, sorry, lock in those arms, and you're gonna extend it behind you. Lock it in, extend it out behind you. Okay, extend. You don't have to stand with one. My band's a little tight, so I'm gonna stand with two feet. Just a little tricky to do those triceps. That's why I'm standing with one. It just gives me a little bit more length in my band. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Grab that band, wrap it a little bit. It's going to come in front, pull it behind, squeeze between those shoulder blades, behind. So I'm just above my belly button here, okay, to kind of landmark it just above my belly button. Up, good. Pull those shoulder blades together. Ooh. Wait till we do the leg section, right? Pull, pull, good. Six, five, four, three, two, and Last one, nice work. Two more exercises, guys. Step on that band. And again, if your band is tight, consider stepping on it with one foot. I'm gonna step with one foot and drop down and lean a little bit, palms are down. Come up, front extension. Good. Good, we have a couple more moves. We're gonna finish with doing that other side, overhead press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three more, almost there, two, and last one. Step in, and you should be okay so we're not coming up too far. Okay, pulling them both up. Ah, good, beautiful. Tummy is strong, I'm tilted forward a little bit. So I'm just again doing kind of the back of the shoulders and into the back a little bit here. And then we're gonna grab our weight and we're gonna do the opposite arm overhead press. And then the arm section is done, so we're gonna do a couple minutes of cardio to get us revved back up, get those legs warmed back up. Four more. And then we're gonna go into the leg section. Two, last one. Okay, drop that, grab that one weight. Nice wide stance, overhead press. Overhead press, good. After this, we will get a quick drink, couple minutes of cardio, and get started on those legs. Up, good. So when you're coming up, try and stay upright. I'm seeing a few bodies going with your weight. Upright, there we go. If you're really tipping with that weight, it might just be a little too heavy to really focus on the shoulder, okay? You should be able to stay nice and stable and drive the weight up. Five, four, three, two, 